kind of meditating right now <laughs> because I have decided to go through my shoes and see which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to get rid of, donate, and sell. Um, I have tons and tons of shoes that I will not go through in my entire life. So I'm going to kind of go through. I am not going to show every single pair because that'll take way too long. So I'm going to kind of go through and see what I need or what I want to keep and what I'm going to be getting rid of. So let's get to it. Okay, so a lot of these shoes, especially the winter ones, have been in storage for a while. So let's see what's under here. I have some boots. These are some Jessica Simpson boots, which are super, super old. Um, I've had these for a long time. They were my favorite boots. I like the zipper up here. This is not real leather. Um, as you can tell right here, I don't know what that is. I think uh, with the moisture and stuff, it got um, a little bit of damage on there. I don't know what that is. It's not mold. It's probably like where they were stuck on each other anyways um these boots even though i use them a lot they're not super super torn up except for the heel right here because it is so pointy uh and both of them are like that so these i am definitely going to go donate these right here um i got at ross a couple years back they were like i don't remember how much they were um they're really cute they're really fashionable they're purple um and I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of these as well because they are kind of big on me. They're a size. They're a seven and a half. Yeah. I am a size six and a half. So these are going to have to go. I don't know what I was thinking getting them so big. On to this box right here. And the lighting sucks. You can't even tell. But these shoes right here. They are just so, so cute. Um, They're like little booties I have never worn these before never ever so um, I'm gonna keep this because I like these I figure they'll, they'll go good with like some either some leggings because God knows I can't wear skinny jeans with my big old chunky legs and um, maybe a skirt or something so that's kind of what those look like on can you tell yeah well they're really cute I like them, so I'm going to give them a try. I have some Miranda Lambert shoes. Oh my god, I am in love with these shoes. And again, I have never worn them. No, yeah, I think I've worn them once. But look at that. Doesn't Miranda Lambert have like the best, best shoes ever? I love these. These are like suede kind of. And I just like them. I fell in love with them. I wanted every color. But I had to contain myself. So I just got these. Um... These I'm definitely going to keep. And more boots. My gosh, what was I thinking getting so many dang boots? These right here I've worn a couple of times. Um, they are by Forever brand. And I think I got these online. They're also super cute, but I think they're kind of uncomfortable. I need to try them on and see. But this might, these might be one of the pairs that I'm actually going to sell. I might just... Um, Clean them up a little bit. They're not dirty at all. But from the bottom they are. And uh, try to sanitize them. And just put them up for sale. My croc boots. Oh my. As weird looking as these are. <laughs> look at those things. They're huge. But I really really like them. They are so comfortable and so so warm. Not that it even gets cold here where I live. But in Houston it was like eh, kind of kind of cold. So, um, these are on the inside, they're just lined. They're fur lined all the way inside and they are just the most comfortable shoes ever. So there's no way I have these and I have a pair of black ones. There's no way I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to keep them. And way down here are my U.S. polo boots. I like these as well because they are comfortable. I like wearing them with uh, jeans and stuff. Ooh, my feet. <laughs> I like wearing them with jeans and stuff like on a casual day or if I'm going to the ranch or whatever. I have these boots that I can use. Over here are my heels. Just some of my heels. And these are all the ones that I've gone through and that I've decided to keep. 
I have like three of these things for you guys. It's not even funny. So these are brand new. Um, I got these online as well. When I went on my shoe shopping craze, I was not really needing to use any of these things at all. Because over there it was just more like cowboy boots and occasionally some um, heels. But um, I have them. I've been collecting these over the years. These are some of the gold heels. These are some black ones that I have. I really wish the lighting was better in here. These are some that I bought when I had an office job. Here are some gray ones. These are one of my absolute favorites. Some super high platform heels. These are brown. They're like multicolored brown. And some little classic sling bags uh, from Guess. I love these shoes as well. Even though I don't wear them as much because they're... I like high, high heels. So those I'm all going to keep. It's been decided. I have some over here that I'm keeping that I'm keeping as well which are these multicolored ones that I've worn maybe once. Let me show you guys how they look on. That's what they look like on. And I like them because they have all kinds of colors on them. And um, they go with a lot, a lot of outfits. These right here, I just unpacked them. I bought them several years ago and I've never ever used them. So those uh, kind of look like fall colors to me. And that's them right there. Isn't that just gorgeous? I like them. And these are my giraffe prints that I got from Just Fab. I really like these shoes as well. I've used them a lot and I plan to use them a whole, whole lot more. This right here is my boot collection. Um, I got these for my very first Valentine gifts from my husband. And I absolutely love them. They are corral boots. And I just love them to death. All my western boots I'm keeping because I am in love with them. I don't have that many. So that's why I'm not getting rid of any. Right here are my very, very, very first pair of boots that I ever got. I have danced the heck out of these boots. And they're still alive. They are by Circle G. Also by Corral. And I just absolutely love them. They are pointy boots. Um, they look dirty. They're not dirty. It's just they have a distressed look to them And like I said, I've danced the heck out of them and I put a little cross that I had um, From a pendant that broke and I just crazy glued it on there. These are my very first pair of Ariat boots They're not that uh, old, but they have the Ariat emblem emblem on here and I love this these are like riding boots and um they're just so, so pretty. I love the color. I love the material. Aria boots are some of my favorites along with Circle G and Corral. And this is another pair of Aria boots that I had to have because just look at that embellishment. Just that, that sewing work right here. It's just like, wow, I love it. And they're also kind of distressed and they are pointy. So those are staying there. And that is my boot collection these over here are some more riding boots can you tell i have a problem okay these i went to ross and i got um i went looking for them well i saw them but they didn't have my size and a couple days later a couple days later i went back and i just happened to see them there and i'm like okay it's destiny so i grabbed them and these are by Tommy Hilfiger. What really attracted me to them is just the style, the color. Um, and they still have the price on them. They were $49 and the original price was $150. So when I saw that they were $49, I had to get them. I think I've worn these maybe once because I do have like some other writing boots that I have. So I'm going to keep these. The good thing about it though is that my daughter is almost wearing the same size shoe as I am. So any shoes that I feel that I don't use anymore, I can let her have them and she gets all excited. These right here, I fought tooth and nail for looking for them. They are my not rated boots and they're just, uh, look at that. I love them. I love them. They are classy. They are just pretty, pretty boots. And I have these in all three colors i could not i found one one at buckle i couldn't find any 
other one. So I went online and looked and looked and looked. And, um, uh, until I found every color that I wanted. I didn't buy the white ones because it was like, okay, I have to draw the limit somewhere. So those are some of my favorite, favorite boots. I have these Guess Ugg type boots as well and they are so dirty i have used these a ton and they're very dirty i need to get them cleaned and this is these are one of the boots that i'm gonna let my daughter have because i mean from the bottom just that right there i don't know what it is like paper but from the bottom they're not used at all and i have no idea how i use the hell out of my shoes and they don't look like it i don't know because and they actually look dirtier than they are on camera i promise they're not that that disgusting. Okay, so my flash is finally on. So here I have the other color for my other not rated boots, and as you can tell, they are beautiful. So I'm and here is the other color. And as you notice, they all have different color rhinestones. This one is clear, this one has gold rhinestones, and the black ones have black. Over here, behind over here behind all my mess are my super favorite like a boat shoes i have these in that color and in red i have those were my wedding shoes they were so so uncomfortable it's not even funny but i love them they are just uh. those right there i am thinking i'm gonna get rid of them because they are so uncomfortable um i like them i love them i like the color and the finish they're like shiny kind of material but mm -mm. They are uncomfortable. I cannot wear them for more than an hour at a time unless I'm going to be sitting down. My beautiful, beautiful spare shoes got online. They were on sale and I just love them to death. And as you can tell, they are totally unworn. Here are another pair of Sperry's. And these are really, really nice. I have worn these, but um, I like to take care of my stuff. So I have them still like with a little plastic things and stuff but um they are really really pretty on i love these these shoes right here don't judge me they are crazy looking it is when these shoes were in style and the heelless shoes were going on i like them just because they were ostrich and i have worn them and everywhere i went people looked at me stupid but i don't care um i will still wear them i am a fan of doing things out of the ordinary and i don't mind you guys look at this i also had to fight tooth and nail to find these in my size and i didn't find them in my size i find i found them like half a size bigger but it was worth it it was worth it i love these shoes they are just so original to me this back part right here is all metal this is all metal embellishments and it has the rhinestones and i just think they are so elegant and unique and these are the shoes i was wearing the first time i met my husband so not only are they awesome shoes for me and pretty but they have sentimental value so these buggers right here are old as heck they are ed hardy shoes that i got online a long time ago but i don't use them very very often um i do need to clean them up because they're white they get messed up really easily here are my other rika shoes they are the red ones these are the they're so super comfortable at first they were really uncomfortable i don't know why i felt something like poking at me on the inside maybe it was a stitching but now i have no problem with them and i love them these lovelies I have in two colors, which is this one and the black ones. And these were a gift from my husband for my birthday. And he got me the matching uh, Versace bags. So I am in love with these shoes. And here are the black pairs. These look so amazing when they're on. Uh, I just love them. And some more Miranda Lambert shoes. These I love. I've worn them a lot and I can't get enough of them. They are so, so pretty. I think, I don't know if I got these from Country Outfitters, but I just love them. I love wedges and I love Miranda Lambert. She is like my ultimate woman crush. So, needless to say, these shoes are bae. Say hi, Zoe. Hi. She's going through my stuff.
Okay, so these shoes here I've decided to get rid of. Um, these are brand new. They're like the other uh, blue ones that I have. And I'm going to be either selling these or I know someone that will really appreciate them. Like as a Christmas gift, they are totally, totally unworn. I love that they're a nude color. They will go with anything. But like I said, I just can't do them. They're super uncomfortable sometimes. For me, maybe for someone else, they will work. These don't even ask what I was thinking. Yeah, what I was thinking when I bought these. I just saw the colors and I like them. I like bright colors. But yeah, I'm going to put these up for sale. I haven't worn them. And these came with a spiky, pointy toe phase. These are also some high heels that I'm going to part with because I do not need that many heels simply because of that so i'm gonna get rid of these i'm sorry high high heels you gotta go right here i really like except they are like half a size they fit me just right but they could be a little bit bigger so i'm gonna get rid of these as well as much as i like the design i like the cork on it and i like that they have a little tiny opening right here at the tip these are so so cute i can't even stress that enough i love them but they have to go and here's another pair of crazy shoes which i also like but they are a bit exaggerated for me if nobody wants them if nobody if i'm not able to sell them or anything like that i'll just keep them i mean i don't mind wearing crazy shoes like i've said so and i like the color continue on two more shoes that i have stored so these right here um they have to go because they already tore on me they're about to tear on me and as much as I like they have served their purpose they are ready to rest in peace because they are gone these right here I am in search of the other one I don't know where it is I refuse to get rid of it until I find it so at this point I am a Cinderella um, I think it's in storage somewhere but I have to go look at these I got look for those I got these uh, really cheap at their candies I got them at Kohl's really cheap for like eight bucks here's another halloweenish type of shoe and i've never worn these as you can tell so those are same these right here i don't really i keep them just in case because i don't really like low heels like that i like high high heels um because i can do it i'm five foot one so yeah i can wear high heels if i want to so these i kind of keep up uh keep as a backup in case i go somewhere that i don't need to be so extravagant extravagantly tall heel these i bought a long long time ago and they are also very uncomfortable so i have never ever worn i've tried i walked around in them but i've never fully worn them as an outfit but with an outfit but i'm not giving up on them yet and there's my other giraffe shoe welcome home giraffe shoe and these are one of my favorite pair of heels it's a guess um it's by guess and i love these i got these really cheap at macy's a couple years ago and i just keep them there i use them yeah, a lot cute. i have used them a lot i love you too and those little guest sandals are there um for the same reason and it's a happy day here in the neighborhood because i just found my other cinderella shoe i guess i kept looking in one bag and then the other and i thought it was the same shoe but i found it this little contraption here i need to fill up here i have my guest heel they are also a smaller heel but i love these i love wearing these with jeans and just casual um for a casual day this is casual for me i know these over here i guess i can use for the wedding um yeah i'll use these for the wedding so i don't have to buy another pair of shoes and those are a black pair of heels like i tell you i don't need more pair of black heels these right here i am gonna get rid of because they're just ridiculous i don't know why i got them um they look really nice if worn properly but they're kind of like those ballerina style shoes that you just lace up i've never actually worn them they're like brand new uh so that's gonna go in the to go over here i have more riding boots more riding boots more riding boots surprise so um i got these online too and i like them so i'm gonna keep them 
more crazy heels i got these actually in blue and in red and i sold the blue ones so i might be selling the red ones as well here are my black croc boots these are huge like i said but they're oh so comfortable and some more booties some gray booties that i'm keeping too um because i do use those and some purple ones. I don't know yet if I'm getting rid of these or keeping these. More than likely, I'll keep these. My Wagga shoes. These, I have two pairs of. There they are. These are all handmade in Colombia. There's no one pair of these that are alike. They all have different design, every single one of them, so they're unique. And these, I think Shakira is working with them for the Pies Descalzos project, which is for every pair that is bought. Um, they donate another pair to people in Colombia and their families that don't have shoes and that are making these. What do you want to make? And over here are more of these fuzzy type boots that are lined on the inside. And um, these are really, really, really comfortable. I am exhausted. Ugh. I am hot and I'm tired. So I managed to get rid of like nine pairs of shoes that I'm not going to be keeping that I don't need to have around because all those shoes were only the tip of the iceberg. I have plenty, plenty more sandals, slippers, tennis shoes, all that stuff. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't bought shoes for a long, long time except for like tennis shoes or shoes that I want for work. But no going out shoes I haven't bought in forever. So, um... I'm kind of glad I went through everything and just kind of put in perspective how crazy we can be with our shopping habits. It's just unbelievable. And I'm going to start listing those shoes. I don't know where I'm going to list them or what I'm going to do with them or what, but they have to go. There's no reason for me to have so, so many shoes, especially when I'll end up only using them like on the weekend. But anyways, this was my first collection slash declutter video and um i might be doing some more in the future but for now <laughs> say bye zoe bye <laughs> for now that is it and i'll be seeing you in my next one bye, bye.